Welcome to the lesson on addition, subtraction and multiplication of algebraic identities. At the end of the lesson, we will be able to add and subtract algebraic expression, multiply a monomial by a monomial, multiply a monomial by a polynomial, multiply a polynomial by a polynomial. For adding any two algebraic expressions, each expression shall be written in a separate row. While doing so, we write like terms one below the other and add them. Now we will add these three algebraic expressions. We will write the like terms of these expressions one below the other as shown and add them. Now we will subtract 3x square minus 4y square plus 6y minus 3 from 6x square minus 4xy plus 7y square plus 3x minus 5y. We will arrange the like terms as shown here. Since this is the case of subtraction, signs of all the terms of expression which is to be subtracted need to be changed. Plus becomes minus and minus becomes plus. Explanation is also shown for easy understanding. Let us consider a rectangle of length L and breadth B. Then area of rectangle is equal to L into B. If the length of the rectangle is increased by 5 units, that is L plus 5, and breadth is decreased by 3 units, that is B minus 3 units, the area of the new rectangle will be L plus 5 multiplied by B minus 3. It shall be understood that if the quantities are given by algebraic expressions, we need to find the product in the manner shown in the example. Let us find the product of two monomials, 5x and 3x square. First, we shall find the product of coefficients of both the monomials. And then we shall find the product of the algebraic factors of both the monomials. Similarly, if we need to find the product of 5x and minus 2xyz, then the product of coefficients will be minus 10. And product of variables will be x square y z. Now let us observe how we can multiply three or more monomials. We will multiply the first two monomials and then multiply the resulting monomial by the third monomial. This method of multiplication can be extended to the product of any number of monomials. In this example also, the first two monomials are multiplied and then the resulting product is multiplied with the third monomial to get the final result. Let us multiply the monomial 3x by the binomial 4y plus 3. Using the distributive law, we can solve easily and we get 12xy plus 9x, which is a binomial. We shall observe that the product of monomial and binomial is binomial. To multiply a monomial by a trinomial, we have to use distributive law. We multiply each term of the trinomial 2a square, 3a and 2 by the monomial 3a and add products. Sometimes we are required to evaluate an algebraic expression for some value of the variable. For such cases, we need to simplify the expression and then apply the value of variable. Upon simplifying the expression, we get 6y square plus 23y minus 8. When we put value of y is equal to 2, we get 62. For multiplying a binomial by a binomial, every term in one binomial multiplies every term in the other binomial. Using distributive law of multiplication, we carry out term by term multiplication. Note that we have two terms in each binomial. Hence, after multiplication, we shall expect 2 multiplied by 2 equal to 4 terms. But we get only 3 terms because like terms BA and AB have been combined. When a binomial is multiplied by a trinomial, like in this example, each of the 3 terms in the trinomial is multiplied by each of the 2 terms in the binomial. Hence, we shall get 3 multiplied by 2 equals to 6 terms. 
which may reduce to five or less terms by combining like terms. At the end of the lesson, you are able to add and subtract algebraic expression, multiply a monomial by a monomial, multiply a monomial by a polynomial, multiply a polynomial by a polynomial. Visit ATEC Academy on www.atecedu.com or contact on 904-11-52777.